All right, so I'm going to go ahead and record this. We've got, I'm trying a different thing where I've got a voice recorder and then I'm watching the video as I'm recording, just kind of do a voiceover and we'll see what happens here. Uh, let me turn the volume down on that one. Zero. There we go. Okay. So what we've got is I'm driving through, I'm going from Target to Broomfield. And coming out of the parking lot, it's basically doing all the stuff on its own. As you can see here, it's pretty impressive how it all figures itself. Take a left turn. Now coming in, it handled this roundabout perfect. There was a car waiting, had no problem. Had no problem going through, didn't hesitate one bit, just kind of like it does here. Um, yeah, this thing's a little surreal. But yeah, my camera was having some issues in the beginning here, so forgive me while I get this all kind of figured out. I don't know what to do with my hands when I'm doing this. It's a little, it's, it's definitely very weird driving without, you know, I've been driving my 49 years with my hands. So to not drive with your hands is very strange. So I don't know what to do with my hands. I suppose I could just put them in my lap and that probably works just fine too. Um, but I tend to have my hands in the air like this. And it's also kind of interesting because you can, you know, as people are driving by and they watch you and then you've got your hands up in the air. I'm sure they're probably thinking, what the hell is that guy doing? He's not paying attention to the road, you know? There's, there's definitely been a couple of double takes um, of people, like, not really realizing what's going on. Because I'm sure people don't realize that these trucks work that way. But, uh, yeah. So, so the update game last night. And then I went uh, to Boulder and back. It did it just fine on the highway. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. Um, the one thing I did notice is that it does kind of pull on the left side of the lane a little bit when you're on the right, when you're on the slow lane, which to me is a little backwards because I tend to I tend to go more towards the shoulder of the road, um, just as a, it's a little bit safer to be on that side of the lane than the center. Um, and I do notice that it does kind of like box in uh, the left lane a little bit when it when it when it wants to kind of rest on that left edge. So I don't know. It's kind of interesting how how that is. But we're gonna be going on the highway here in a second. As you can see from the screen, it's pretty good at pretty much gathering all the information of what's around it. So it's basically drawing all these cars pretty accurately. The one thing I did not, uh, that I noticed with a lady walking her dogs was that the dogs were not drawn, which kind of make me wonder if there's, if it would notice a dog if it's not being drawn. I would hope so, but... It's kind of interesting that there's no graphic for a dog anyway. So here we are going left turn onto the highway. And this is pretty much from... Westminster Broomfield. My phone keeps doing the uh, going to no screen, but it seems like it's recording, so hopefully we'll get it figured out. So here we are on the highway, and I'm not sure if I'm doing it. I know I do it once I get off the highway. But if you want to change lanes, if it's like pull, if it if you're in this slow lane, um, and you wanted to get over in the left lane, all you got to do is press the the signal, and it'll 
figure out what it'll figure out how to get over into that lane for you. Um, if it's going a little slow, um, you can just hit the accelerator and it'll start speeding up and generally keep a higher um, rate of speed. So there's no touching the wheel like uh, with the loner I had. You had to like uh, the wheel. There's a little wheel on the on the uh, steering wheel that you could kind of bump up the speed a little bit, but it doesn't have that on the Cybertruck. There is an absolute and relative modifier for speed. Um, I don't really see that it's doing much for what I have it set at. I have it set at plus six, but I don't notice it going plus six over more often than any other speed. But it does tend to like go with the traffic, which is really interesting because as you can see here, it's going 70 miles an hour because that's what the traffic is doing. Um, and last night I kind of noticed the same thing as that when traffic was a little faster, it started picking up the pace to be more like traffic. So pretty interesting how that works. And we got like a mile here. It's really isn't too far. Probably got to go down this road and then up to a shopping center and then the video ends. So it's not too too much more from here. But it's definitely surreal where, it, you know, I don't know, just feel like I should be holding the wheel or doing something. So it's a little weird on what to do with my hands. So I, I'm, I have them up in the air, which also seems weird. Now, this one's interesting because it it's a red light. It's a stop on red. Um, but this this right lane, you can actually turn on red, not the center lane. So I kind of wonder if it would have known that or not, because um, it went ahead and made the turn, no problem. Didn't hesitate. Now, I think it's here when I see me pressing the button there. That's all I had to do for it to just kind of decide it needs to slide over and give some room for those cars that are merging. So that's really nice that it's, there's really not too much to it to, to be able to get it to go in, go in another lane for you. And I know that there were some people that were concerned about, like, license plates and things like that. In Colorado, anyway, um, you can't look up anybody by their license plate number unless you're law enforcement or something anyway. So it's not, it's not like you can dox anybody with a license plate here. Got some in, in on, in, 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 is that it? This semi was going a little slow, and so it almost like was wanting to match the semi. So it kind of went, started going a little slow too. Thought that was interesting. But like right, I think it's right here. Yeah, it decides to, to merge on its own because it knows that we're in two lights we're going to be turning. And I thought that was a pretty, pretty good turn. I don't know. I mean, there was a car in the lane before it, and then it went behind us, and then it just made the turn over. So I'm not sure if I would have done it that way. I'm going to, I guess, maybe taking more caution. I don't know. But it's not like it put me at risk or anything, so. But yeah, we've got traffic, chunk, traffic cones. Doesn't seem to have a problem with it. As you can see, it's drawing them all. Drawing them all. And then yeah, we're pretty much pretty much getting up on into it. So pretty much pulls in here and then there's a particular spot that it always pulls to and then it kind of it's kind of interesting how it always almost wants to pull into the parking spot but then just stops because that's where the marker is. But it almost it always goes to the same same spot, which in this case is just right up right up here. It'll go it'll go ahead and then it'll follow this truck 
And then for whatever reason, that's the, that's where the marker is. So I just killed it there. And then 